This is the other option, which is the brand new style, and it's the, we call it the Virgin Diamond, and it's kind of a braided traffic flow, or almost like a pretzel, but basically what happens is, and when you're driving on Dorset and you approach the interchange, when you get to the ramps, you'll go over to the other side of the road while you go under the bridge, and then when you get to the other set of signals at the ramps, you go back to the right side of the road. Now that's unconventional, but the reason that works here is that it allows the traffic on and off the ramps to make free turns without opposing traffic so that the ramp traffic flows much better. Plus the signals are what we call two-phase signals, which basically means it's, it's green for one and then green for the other. So the cycle links are short, not a lot of waste of time. One's going, the other's going, this is back and forth. So these work well on interchanges that carry a lot of traffic on the ramps, which is what Dorset does. There's not a, there's a low percentage of traffic that goes through. Most of the people coming through here are coming on and off the ramps. Now this is unique. This has never been built in, in the United States, right? It's brand new. It's never been built in America. There's one in France. Uh, MoDOT plans to build one in Kansas City next year, but that's kind of the risk to well, it. It's a technical it's slide that kind of shows the reason from an engineering standpoint of, of why we like the diverging diamond. Um, again, the clearance on Dorset is relatively shallow right now, and the advantage to this design is this new bridge can have a column in the middle, and it's not as long, the span is not as long as the single point, so your structure depth is shorter. So we will only have to dig the max three to four feet rather than eight to ten feet on the single point. If remember, the single point had to have a signal under here hanging in here, so it was the structure depth with the signal that brought it way down. So digging three to four feet as opposed to eight, that should save Well, this is the animation, so okay. this is how it would look if you're driving on Dorset and you're going to try and go through. And it's a little hard to follow, but it'll show you that it's, it's not that difficult to, to go to the left side. It doesn't seem that strange. But see, if you approach the signal here, you'll have a glare screen on your right. The, the lane will direct you over to the left. You'll move over to the left. There'll be plenty of signing. You have your barrier on the on the right so it doesn't look like you're in the wrong spot. And then when you get the other signal, you'll just do the same thing. Gotcha. And this is an animation where you're on the highway and you get off on the ramp and you're going to turn left. And we got these from Kansas City. They, they put these together for their Front Street and 435 project from MoDOT, Kansas City. So you come down and approach the signal as, as usual. You'll turn left. It'll direct you to the left side of the road. Follow signs of striping. You have your glare screened, then you'll just go on through. Or if you wanted to UE and get back on going the other direction of the interstate, you'd you have made get a back left on the there. ramp. Yeah. Gotcha. And this is the uh, 2030 morning traffic again. And if you watch this for a little while, you'll see that it moves a lot of traffic, and you'll see that the cycle lengths are very quick. Uh, it's back and forth. You don't you don't wait very long, and, and the queues we call traffic queues just don't get very long before they get the green service. And when you get your green on the one side, you'll get it all the way through. Oh, so you you won't start here and get halfway through and get stuck. Right. No, it'll be coordinated that you just go on through when you come off the ramp. Gotcha. Well, that'll be quick. So, it, it, Modot does Modot have a a preference on these two? No. You know, the advantage, we wanted to put this to the community and see what they wanted to do. We can certainly build either one. There's pros and cons to both of them. You know, I, I think the DDI saves money and saves time, so that's a good thing. We would usually say, well, that's what you should obviously do, but we didn't want to do something that's brand new uh, without the community saying, yeah, we're confident that that's going to work. Let's give it a try. So. We figured, you know, it, it's best to let the community decide the pros and cons so they'll they'll be on board when construction comes and they have to live through the pain.